for police here in Times Square. Not one, but two violent incidents that they responded to, both just a block away from one another, and police say multiple people are in custody. Violence playing out twice Thursday night in Times Square. The first incident happening just after 5.30 when police say a 17-year-old was stabbed in the back at 42nd and 8th. A police source tells PIX11 News that the victim may be a migrant. Four people are reportedly in custody and several more are at large. A nearby food cart worker witnessed the chaotic aftermath. I saw someone uh, running and there's uh, other cops coming up to follow him. And there's uh, cops uh, jump and catch him and arrest him. And I saw the other guy coming with a blood coming from the back, from everywhere. Less than two hours later, police went running to another scene around the corner. Officers found a man on the ground bleeding from his head in front of the Hard Rock Cafe. Mounted units were called in to help secure the area, which was flooded with tourists. Officers arrested three men at the scene. A witness says the victim was antagonizing people prior to being attacked. And he came over to me and uh, he was trying to start fights with other people. Then he went off and then when he, were coming, he came back and there was a cop there and there was four other people or three other kids beating up on him. four. And they were beating up on him and he was bloody. And I just received an update from police a couple of minutes ago that seven people are now in custody in connection with that stabbing. Police tell me that both of the victims are expected to survive. Only on Christ 17 TV. Back upside your head with another one. Yeah, Times Square, New York City. Can't even go downtown no more. Let's talk about it. Well, first they blaming the migrants. Now a migrant is a victim, but was the migrant starting some something with somebody to get stabbed? First of all. Second one looked like a drunk guy in front of the Hard Rock Cafe bothering folks and some kids beat him up. Surprise, hell no, because people be drunk and these and these youngsters will whoop your ass. And that's is a fact. But Times Square is too much violence. It's like every other day we're getting something from Times Square. Cops getting beat up. People getting stabbed. This is like the third teenager that's got stabbed in Times Square like this. This shit is happening overnight, every night. So now people are going to be scared to come to New York City. Because like I said, New York City is turning into Gotham City. Anything could happen, like I said. And it's a shame because... When people come from out of state to visit, they want to go to Times Square. They want to see the bright lights. They want to see Elmo. They want to see the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Just that's what the, they want to bring their family for. But if people getting stabbed and shot and the police getting their ass whooped down there, guess what? New York's about to lose a whole lot of money from the tourists because they're going to quit coming here. Who wants to come here when you're getting... <laughs> beat up or you can get stabbed or they shoot in or anything can happen this shit is getting to be old and old fast and i'm just like <sighs> i've seen some shit down there when i was down there last time somebody got shot down there because kids was fighting and one one guy got punched and then somebody shoot in and somebody who wasn't even had nothing to do with the fight gets shot that that's just how it is the people who just around there is going to be the victim, stray bullets. Because people don't know how to shoot, and you shouldn't even be shooting in a crowded place. If you're going to fight, that's one thing. You lose, you lose. You know what I'm saying? Don't go get no gun and pull out no gun because you lost some fight that you might have probably started. But like I said, it's going hard. It's going to be hard for people to keep coming to New York when they keep showing this shit on the news. New York's beautiful. But they making it ugly right now. They making it real ugly and this shit is happening on the regular. Like, I'm about to go back to New York soon. And I like going downtown, but I'm not really in Times Square a lot. I like to go more downtown, like down downtown, 14th Street, Chinatown, shit like that, Bleecker Street. But I'm not surprised because, listen, the more people that's coming there off bus loads, don't have no money, then they're going to do what they need to do, and it's pretty much crime. They ain't got no jobs, they ain't got no, I mean, it's just how it's going to be right now. So you keep letting more people in 
in the New York, it's going to be more crime. That's just easy math. The more people there who ain't got no money, they're going to go out and try to do what they got to do. Robbery, whatever they got to do, they're going to do it. And it's a shame because they're turning downtown into fucking a place where nobody even wants to visit no more, which is trash. New York is beautiful. The Bronx is beautiful. Queens is beautiful. Brooklyn, every place you go, but people are making it real fucked up. Kids getting shot, teenagers getting stabbed. Nobody wants to bring their family out here to take a chance that they might be a fucking victim of a robbery, of a shooting. Be like, <laughs> be like Bruce Wayne's parents mugged coming from a, a goddamn theater and get killed. And now you left with no parents. Gotham City for real, man. Gotham City is for real. No joke. Just had to drop some few lines because this is breaking news. This just, just happened tonight in Times Square. This just happened. Just happened. And with that being said, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. Until next time, Christ 17, baby, gonna catch you on the flip side.